Well, hello. I am live on Instagram, and I'm going to see when I'm going to be live on. I think I've updated everything. Uh, if you're on Facebook, let me know. Send me a message. I know there's a bit of a delay. Hey, look at my Instagram, folks. We're going to do some drawing tonight. We're going to draw the wave of creativity. Hi. Uh, it's uh, great to see you all. I'm going to try to do these every night for the next few nights. I, I have um, a few days till my NFT launch on the 28th at 9 p.m. I'm very, very excited about that. So I'll be talking about that each night. And let's see if I have my, let's see here. This is one, I'll show you an NFT that, one of them that we're going to be uh, featuring. <coughs> ha! Ah, uh, you think I'd have it right here. Uh, if you're on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, please send me a little chat, send me a text to let me know if you can hear me and if all is well. With that, well, we're going to draw. This is what we did earlier, but I do want to show you those NFTs. And what did? Oh, here they are. Okay, I found them. Uh, here's the five images that are coming up that are going to be that are minted and are on Maker's Place. If you go to makersplace.com and type in my name, you can see these NFTs, these uh, wonderful images that are now going to be available. Hi, Patricia. This is my favorite right here. The Red Dragon, and uh, this is one one of my favorites too. They're all, okay. They're all my favorite. So that's coming up this Friday, nine p.m. Uh, Eastern time. You can go to Maker's Place right now and take a look at them, and make a bid. And your your purchase of those helps me continue my mission to uh, hopefully inspire and to teach and to promote the value of the visual arts to you guys, to your generation, to all my creative tribe, and to the children around the world. So thank you so much for, just uh, go take a gander, go take a look at Maker's Place. Let me write that down. Let me write that down so you guys have it here. So it's, uh, it's um, at Maker's, whoop, market, at market. Let me spell it correctly. Okay, at Maker's Place Co Company dot com. Well, I don't think there's a com, right? There's not that at the end. Oops. Oops. Ah! I made a mistake. Look at this. So joy alive. Hi, Robert Newstad. Good to see you on Facebook. Am I on YouTube, anybody? Let me know. Did I successfully get onto YouTube? I hope I did. Um, if you're on YouTube, send me a quick comment, would you? And this is, uh, uh, I'm going to write, Yahoo, my NFT launch on Maker's Place Friday, January. Hey, Fatima's on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, Friday, tw January 28th. 9 p.m. Eastern. Ah, I put two E's. Look at this. I'm sorry. Look at this. I'm writing. I'm misspelling. E. It's E A. I'll just make that a big A. Eastern. How's that for my sloppy writing? 9 p.m. Eastern. Here. Okay. You see. You see a behind the scenes raw. That's right. Oh wait. Wait. Give myself license to make mistakes. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody type in beep, 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 beep. Now, let's see, guys. I'm very excited about that. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to draw the wave of creativity. But first, let me check out your comments. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Adam. Hi, S. Sawyer. Good to see you guys. Let me say hi to the people on Instagram. Hello, Lily. And hello, Amal. And hello, McCarthy. And hello, McGuy, McVeigh. Hello, McVeigh. And hello, Michelle Caldwell on Instagram. I just love having Instagram. I figured out a way to do it. I got. I'm not using the same restream. I have my phone 
hooked up right here. See, there's my phone down over here. That's my phone. And then on this camera, I have YouTube and Facebook. Are you proud of me? Are you? <laughs> All right. Now, I just finished. These are the three drawings that I finished right here just now with my Mighty Mondays class. So I want to welcome bottom on my other Mighty Mondays. Now, what I'm going to start doing on Mondays is I'll do the last lesson on social media, the last drawing. So we did this in the first like 45 minutes of the class. This was my Mighty Mondays, and this is part of my Draw 3D membership. Okay, if you guys are members of Draw 3D, you get you get Mondays live for the for the full lesson, and um, and I'm going to start just for a, for a month or two. Start, oh McGrubber, uh, <laughs> McGrubber. What's Robert? I don't get your humor sometimes. I don't get it. Was McGrubber one of our? Are you calling me McGrubber? Robert, I love you, man. I don't get you sometimes, but I love you. Robert's our Robert's our executive producer for uh, the Imagination Station, and Robert was one of the key players. The reason why we won the Emmy for that show right there, I give Robert lots of credit because he's a brilliant, brilliant executive producer for Imagination Station. You can see this series. You can see this series on uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. Hey Robert, you gotta you gotta come on and and uh, and explain that on on Facebook. I can't read it on Instagram if you sign. All right, so here we're gonna do a drawing tonight. We are doing a drawing. All right, so thank you for your membership. <clears throat> By the way, if you guys uh, want to get a Draw Three D membership, here's a fifty percent off code. It's usually two hundred dollars a year, ninety nine bucks a year. Use that code. Share the code with friends, family. It's all right. Yeah, it's Kistler fifty. You go to the www.draw3d.com. Go to Buy one year family membership and then add in the code. Add in the code. Sorry, I can't mute my Instagram, so sorry about that. Kiss the 50. Um, I missed the reference. Robert Newstead, I missed the reference there. Oh, oh Jeff, thank you, uh, McGrubbers. I don't get it. It's a, it's a SNL sketch, but how does that tie in? With me now, you got to explain the explain the tie-in. Uh, character Wrigley sketches us, usually. Oh, with Kristen Wiig, so he he draws on Saturday Night Live. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go. I'm going to use this book for this this drawing today. I'm going to use you can draw in 30 days. This is at Amazon, and I'm going to draw the wave of creativity. I just love this wave, and so I'm going to draw this. This is uh, my bestseller. I've got. Over a million books in print. Whoa! I love sharing that. It's just, it's. I just am so tickled that over a million readers are drawing with my books out there. We're going to draw this wave of creativity right here. This is page 141 of You Can Draw in 30 Days. So let's draw. All right. It's all about you. Ha! Robert, you're funny. All right. So right here, I'm going to draw this wave of creativity. So I'm going to start right here with a... Uh, I'm going to put it kind of high and then have it come low. I want to fill this area right here. So I'm going to move this over. So I'm going to zoom the camera in so you can see it on both screen and on the on, on the phone. And I'm going to position it right here. All right. So I'm going to take my, my pencil. I'm going to put draw a four short and circle. I'm going to draw a four short and circle. Uh, okay, Adam's going to watch my episodes of Imagination Station on Amazon Prime. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate that. Okay, now, four shorts in circle. Now, from this point, we're going to go uphill. Now, watch this. Go uphill to the right. This isn't, uh, remember our drawing direction compass. Let me pull this chart out here. You can print this chart up for free from Draw 3D. See the chart? We're going to use this chart. We're going to draw these lines up in northeast. a lot, And we're going to draw southeast and northeast today. So this is going to be really cool. The, the wave is going to crash down, coming down in direction uh, southeast. See that line right there? Let me move this up so you can see it. Okay. And well, I think I'll... Let me tilt this. Let me see if I can tilt that a bit more. And then, now this line. Now watch this. These, these lines are going to go up in this direction. They're going to kind of taper just a bit. You see that? We're going to make this tube. Making this tube right here. 
And then we're going to, at the end, this is contour, curving. There's 12 Renaissance words. And if you use those 12 words, we can draw anything in 3D. Now, Roland's saying he used to watch me as a child. Thank you for teaching me how to draw. Now, Roland, 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 Roland. Was that the Secret City or was that the Imagination Station? Which one of the which one of the shows with that? I always like to find out which show you're drawing. And of course I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm hitting things here. I had it all set perfectly and then I bumped my cam bumped the camera. Alright. Now back here I'm gonna draw the wave, the angle. Well, thank you for watching both shows, and sorry again for the cough. Uh, that's just me. I'm allergic to everything. All right, now, watch this. Put a dot right here, and this is going to be our guideline for the for the uh, water, the, the wave, the, the, the foam as it peels across. I'm going to say wave to Elena. She's on Instagram, and uh, uh, Mikas, I'm going to Mikas, and Derek K. And Arima, I'm going to say hi to you. And Corinne, I'm going to say hi to you. Uh, well, thank you. I, um, I. A. Wood sent me a nice comment. Of course, I have to read them sideways. That's why it takes me a while. And Mc, uh, Michelle wants to be in my in live with me, share screen, but I'm not going to do that. But thank you for asking. Now, uh, Ethan here. Hi, Ethan on Facebook. I sure enjoy seeing all you guys up here. All right. So now I'm going to very lightly, first of all, now watch this. I'm just going to lightly, I'm going to draw lightly first, and then I'll add the, the darker. I'm going to have this wave. Look at this wave is just peeling over. See this? So I'm going to draw the, 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 the foam, right? This is going to be the foam. And it's the, the wave's going to be pulling. It's just crashing. All right, so I'm going to put some some of these, uh, uh, you know, water. Now, see, I look, I'm drawing really light. Light, 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 light. I'm just whisper lines here, all right? So then I'll kind of lighten my load, my, lighten my line. <coughs> and then, now this, I'm going to erase this because watch what's going to happen. Inside here, look at this. Inside here, that curves, that's going to curve down. You see how it's pitching up, and it's going to be picking down this wonderful wave, and very lightly. I'm going to, I know that the the water is going to be coming, get a little more vertical. See this? So now inside, I'm going to take this. I'll erase this line. I'll kind of lighten that. I still want to keep that. That's a good, helpful direction line. But I'm going to lighten it now. Watch what I'm going to do. The top is going to pitch over. So I'm going to add some lines here, curving. See, curve these the tubes. See, curve it. Curve these even more than you think you have to. And you see, I'm just drawing really light. Can you guys see that? Whisper, whisper, whisper lines. And then I'll take this. I'm going to go ahead and light. See, I, I love, you kind of clean up as you go. Erasers, your friend. Erasers, your friend. I, that's a lot different than my teaching instruction for 30 years ago, I used to break erasers off of students' pencils and say, don't erase, don't erase, and the erasers are the enemy, and, you know, they're the enemy of uh, of spontaneity, or I don't know what my, it was just, what happens is a lot of kids will get so caught up in erasing that they'll get behind on the lesson. And now, after 40 years of teaching, I realize that that's, that's a really important process is to erase and adjust and erase and adjust. The important thing is, is, is to make sure you learn the perfection is out the window. No stress. Stress is on the bus. Someone type in beep, beep, beep on Facebook. Someone type in bye, bye stress bus. Beep, 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 beep on YouTube. Someone type in beep, beep, beep on, on Instagram. Someone type in stress is on the bus. All right, now I'm going to curve this down here. Look at this. I'm going to curve this down here. You see this? I'm just going to... Oh, I, this is going to be cool. Now, I don't really see this. All right, this is looking cool. Now, now I'll take my pencil and I'm going to get... I'm going to start getting dark here. Almost like an ink line. I'm going to push. I'm going to draw this... The, 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 the foam. Let's see. Do we have any more hellos here? 
Uh, hey, look at that. We have uh, uh, Michael Virt joined us on Instagram. We have uh, Feed Yours on. We have uh, Watercolors on here. It's so great to see you guys. Thank you for all the hearts. Uh, S. Sawyer on YouTube said, bye-bye, stress. And I enjoy the racing. I enjoy the cleaning up. So that's part of my relaxing. But thank you, Fatima, for your tip, for your advice. Fatima has been drawing with me for many, many years. She's uh, a high school student out there, and she's just such a great helper. There's Melinda. Hello, Melinda. Hey, Melinda, I, I sent you a, a complimentary link to my uh, my daily lessons because I you're just... You're such a great fan and such a great artist that I uh, I like to I want to keep you drawing. So you feel free to join us on those links if you uh, 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 if you want to. Just uh, just a little bonus for you because you you come to so many of my drawings. So thank you. All right, look at this. I'm drawing the water here. I'm going to draw some of this water. I'm, I want to flow. See, I want I want the water to be coming. Like this, you see, I'm going to put some action lines and I'll put a couple of these. Look at that little blurs and put some water droplets coming up off the wave. You see that? See how the how that wave is peeling back now. So I'll darken in. I'll darken in this first that first one right there. And then I'll darken in this one right here and then I'll darken in that one right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'll draw the inside. I'm going to darken in these lines. Now you could put down here, before I darken in, the wave is peeling around. Are we going to, should we put like a, a, the marshmallows down here? Should we put the marshmallows down here? The the cool, crazy marshmallows. So let's have, right here, I'm going to have a marshmallow looking up. So I'm going to draw this marshmallow guy. He's looking up at the wave. So draw a foreshortened circle. And this marshmallow is looking up, and he's going, oh, no. So I'm going to curve the bottom, and I'm going to put the water at the bottom. And this marshmallow, he's he's looking at that wave. And the back eye is smaller. And that marshmallow. And I'm going to have this marshmallow. He's pointing, okay? I'm going to have him pointing here. He's like, wow, well, maybe, maybe I'll put his hands. You see, this is where you have some fun. Maybe I'll put his hands, his hands like, oh, no. So I'll put one arm over here and one arm up here. And he's like, ah. See, he's, he's all frightened. And there's that foreshortened circle. And you can draw his little mouth. He's like, ah. Oh no! And then I'm gonna put the the these wrinkles, the four shortened circles. See that? Put these four shortened water ripples. See that? Four shortening. Isn't that cool? Do you love it? Love it? Love it? Now, so that we just we're just adding some cool little extras. The wave of creativity. All right. Now, now I'm gonna put that back water line coming down here. The marshmallow. And uh, he's like, ah. So underneath here, now watch this. I'm going to put a little shadow, but I'm going to go ahead and darken in these lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. Darken in the water as it flows from under the wave. All right. Surf's up, Mar Mar Surf's up Marshmallow. Ah. Now watch this. I'm going to overlap. I'm going to make this wave. Watch this. What? Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of put little these little bumps at the top. Curve these the opposite way. See what that does? Isn't that cool. The wave of creativity. Now the sun's above. So let's shade. Start very light. Whisper lines, you guys. The fun's in the shading. The fun's in the shading here. And I want to ray. I will look at. We have R. S. Uh, Scott with us. And we have Tuxedo. There's Tuxedo Black Cat. Good to see you again. Hello, Sarah. Good to see you on Facebook. Yeah, add you add those curves. Well, you think that adds it. Watch this. I'm going to put a little bit. Cover up my 
a microphone on my uh, Instagram. But look, at I'm going to put a little bit of shading. The, the shading really, really makes it pop. Shading is one of those 12 words. Okay. Shading just shading is one of those 12 words. If you use, use shading, you're going to make how your drawing is going to. I'm going to zoom that in. Look at that. I, I can zoom in my Instagram too. And I'll, and I'll, let me see if I can. There we go. That's looking cool. I'll zoom it in more. Hey, look at this. I'm a pro. Yeah. I've got my camera here on Instagram. I've got Facebook and YouTube. This is all thanks to Mike Ingram. He's been out uh, taking care of his family for a while now, but we sure miss him. Now, look, it's dark underneath there, and I'm going to get it lighter and lighter as it comes down. You see that? I'm going to get it lighter and lighter. This is called blended shading. Now, now look at this. See this? That's that. This is what we uh, started with. This is what we drew. We drew this uh, just at 6.30 to 7.30, Monday night, our, our, mighty, our mighty Monday's Mighty Monday Live with my families that draw 3D. And then I'm doing the fourth drawing with you guys because the Mighty Monday people, all the families said that they were cool with me sharing the last uh, drawing with you guys. Isn't that generous of them? Very generous. So this was a really fun lesson today. This is called the Ninja Banana. And this is called the Fluffy Teddy Bear. And that's called the Portal of Imagination. And one thing I forgot to add on this one, oops, I forgot to add that shading out here. I forgot to put the wall back here, oops. Oops, I forgot, I for that really makes a big difference. Look at this. I know you guys didn't do this drawing, but you can see me finish it here. Okay, here's a pop quiz out there, ready? Pop quiz. Every, anybody out there, what is the date? What's the day and date that my NFT is officially gonna launch on Maker's Place. What is the date and the time my NFT is going to launch on Maker's Place? Yes, sir, I'm still doing my vegan voyage, but it's uh, my almost vegan voyage. I, I do have, uh, uh, this week I made my some chicken tacos for me and my son. Just every now and then. I mean, I uh, very, very little red meat. Very tiny bit. Uh, and... Uh, I have sushi once a week because I love sushi, but it's mostly vegan. I'm a mostly vegan guy. Not one of the pure 100% vegans, but almost. It definitely feel better. I definitely feel healthier. My, uh, my uh, launch is the 28th, Friday the 28th at 9 p.m. for my NFT. Right there. 9 p.m. Eastern, February, I'm sorry, January 28th. Ha! January 28th. January 28th, and you can see between all this, uh, Sarah's saying she can't have, I, I haven't been able to have dairy for years, so I I are, already do silk. I love silk, the soy milk for my coffee and stuff, my decaf. Look, I know that you didn't do this drawing, but I'm going to, this is such a fun one, you guys. This is such a fun one. Hey, by the way, you guys, do me a favor. Everybody, would everybody go to OutSchool? Would you go to outschool.com and would you, it's it's free to get an account. Just log in, make a code. And uh, would you, would you guys all do me a favor? Would you do me the honor? Would you please, please, please go to OutSchool and type in my name in the, the search. It's a new platform I joined them. I'm so excited. I'm totally impressed with their screening of the thousand instructors they have. They have something like 10,000 classes offered. They have, you know, students in 143 countries. I'm very, very impressed. Now, uh, you go to outschool.com and type in my name, and then I want you to follow me on OutSchool, and I want you to put hearts on all my classes that I'm teaching. Let me show you. Let me show you some of these classes. I'm just so pleased. Look at this. Check this out. Uh, Animals of the Rainforest, Penguin Pals, How to Draw Dinosaurs, Ancient Egypt, Marching Mummies, uh, how to draw ocean friends, sharks, and mermaids, and how to draw space adventures. Isn't that cool? And then that's just that's just a few of them. I have uh, I'm gonna have over a hundred classes offered. That's just a few of them, okay? And they start um, they start 
you know, they're they're on every day. You can go on and, and sign up. They're they're usually I charge twenty five dollars uh, a student per class. Thank you so much for the years of support and for uh, you know taking my summer camps and my spring art camps and my uh, draw three D classes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm putting this this see I'm I'm just doing the first light, the first. See, I'm following this guideline here. See this? I'm gonna, now I'm going to put another. I'm going to twist. Oops, i got to go back over here. I just did this row here, see? And then I'm going to zoom my cameras in. Zoom my cameras in. And then put the shadow down here. Put the shadow down here. Thank you, guys, for logging into OutSchool. And... Uh, you could be, you just log in as an parent or, you know, you're an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent and uh, just uh, uh, follow my, follow my profile. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just started there. So I'd like to get some followers on my, on my uh, platform. All right. So now, now we're, I'm going to dark. Oops. I got to darken more here. Now. I definitely, now this one, look at this. I'm going to, I really want to shade this. I'm going to make this really, see, I'm going to take my pencil now. Now under here, under here, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this lighter. Now watch this. I'm going to get it lighter as it comes up. Look, it guys, it gets lighter. It gets lighter still. Oh, we got some, here's uh, Tim Day, Tim David. We have uh, Miss Angie. Hi, Miss Angie. We have Wimberly Fitness. Hello. We have Geopod. Hello. Thank you for watching my Instagram. If you're on Facebook, as Instagram, YouTube, tell me what country you're you're coming in from, would you? I always love to keep track of what countries are drawing with me. I always love to keep track of that. All right, so I'm going to put more darkness. Look at this. I'm taking my time. This is the fun part. I'm going to turn and twist my drawing. See this? I want to put... See this? Sometimes, look at this. I want to, I want to put that curve. See this? I'm going to use the shading. I'm going to shade here. See this? I want to, I want to, these lines. Some of them are all go all the way, and some just are little, little start, little edges of the line. See this? Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. I want to get more of that flow, see? So I just just touch it along here. All right. All right, let's get that centered on the camera. And I'm going to use my eraser. I'll go ahead and clean up. Clean up, clean up my extra lines. Clean up, clean up. There's the marshmallow freaking out. All right, now it's just a matter of going over it with it's more detail. It doesn't have enough detail. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to darken. I think I'll go through and I'll darken some more. Just a bit more here. And you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this. I'm going to darken it down. On, look at this. I'm just adding more. I want to make more value. So I just go layer upon layer. You see that? I want I want to put more layer. I, I got to shade the marshmallow. The marshmallow's freaking out here. Ah! Look at this. I want to shade the marshmallow along. I love the nuances down here. You see that? All right. Let's see. Uh. You guys are awesome. Thank you for request to be in my video, but I don't I don't let anybody come in the videos, but thank you for showing your interest. Look, I'm just going to add more more blending, darken darken in here. I want to darken more. See, I just it's layer upon layer, you guys. I'm going to darken more up here. I think I'll put a little bit of shading on that on that uh that foam. How is that looking, you guys? Let's darken in a little more. I'm going to put a shadow. 
That the, the light for me is coming from above, right? It's coming from the top right. And then I'll darken the center here. Hey, I got a comment. Tuxedo, I'd love to tell you what... Uh, uh, okay, well, just country. Tell me what country you're from. There's Arizona. Hello, happy honey badger. And Sarah, you can send me a story. And Jeff, thank you. He's from Canada. 40 minutes from Toronto. That's awesome. All right, pop quiz, you guys. Tell me, tell me the what words I'm using. What words am I using of the twelve Renaissance words? What's the the three the one that with the value underneath the two? What's that word? What's the word shading? Definitely. Now another word. These lines that are giving it that motion. These lines that are giving it the volume, the shape. What's that line? There's twelve Renaissance words. Here's a little sneak piece. Uh, twelve Renaissance words. Remember, you can get a copy of those words for free. If you go to draw3d.com, you get a copy of that word for free. All right. And I want to thank you again, guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing up there in the corner on Instagram. Thanks for following me. I can't remember if on Instagram you follow or subscribe or uh, not very savvy. But thank you, Mike, for helping me get everything going. Uh, Contour Lines is right, Melinda. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Push that bell. Push the bell so you can see me when I come live, okay? And I want to thank you so much for going on to outschool.com and following me and uh, putting hearts in my classes. I'd love to have your kids. It's for my, uh, it's for kids. My classes are for kids three or kids uh, eight to uh, 13, 14 years old. But I have had 15, 16-year-olds in there. They just love to draw. And I love it that my Mighty Monday family time, we have more parents and grandparents than we have kids. I'm just going through. I'm adding more drawing. All right. Well, there you go, you guys. There's your four drawings for Mighty Monday today. Our Ninja Banana. Our Fluffy Teddy Bear. Our Portal of the Imagination. And our Wave of Creativity. So thank you guys for drawing with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, that was a blast. Love from Indiana. All right. Hey, Ginger Khan, how are you? Thank you for your kind comment. I just, I think that was just a wonderful like, evening of drawing, you guys. Look at this. I, I did the lesson, and I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself I did a good lesson. That, that, that's self confidence for you, right? All right. I enjoyed it. I, is that, you know what's a good sign if I have as much fun or more fun than you guys have drawing with me? So I'm going to pull this camera back a bit more so you can see what I did. See the whole picture here. All right, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Ginger got my package and book. That's wonderful. I'm glad you got your shipment. If you're waiting for your book, thank you for your patience. It does take me a while to get everything shipped. Um, I'm, I'm hoping this week to get caught up again with the pending uh, orders, okay? If you want to get uh, get an order, you can order it. I'll be shipping this week, so you get it right away. You can order uh, from Amazon, but if you order any of my books from my website, I'll autograph them for you. I have these in stock. I have these in stock. You can draw in 30 seconds. I have a page right here that I can autograph it, personalize it to you, if you get it through my website. And uh, I have uh, art prints. This one's a wonderful art print right here. It's Mount Rushmore 1980s. PBS icon is by artist Michael Claro. Uh, thank you. He uh, he helped me. All the proceeds from this go toward my uh, my nonprofit imagination initiative. And you can buy this on my website, markkissler.com. I'll put this up for Instagram so Instagram to see it. Markkissler.com. All right. So thanks, guys, again. Thanks for drawing with me. Thanks for following me on Instagram and on Facebook and on OutSchool. And I'll end our drawing. So I'm going to end this one first. Bye, guys. Thank you.